The Vatican Hello kids! Today we are in Rome, Italy, and will visit the Vatican. This is St. Peter's Square. Behind me you can see St. Peter's Basilica, with its majestic colonnade. The Vatican is a city-state surrounded by Rome. It is the home of the Pope and the headquarters of the Roman Catholic Church. Let's start to explore the beauty of the Vatican. We are now inside St. Peter's Basilica. This church was built in the Renaissance style. It is a very big church and its dome dominates the skyline of Rome. In fact, it has one of the biggest domes in the world and it was designed by Michelangelo. The Dome of St. Peter's Basilica, by Michelangelo. The inside of the basilica is very beautiful and it is in a cruciform shape. Let's continue to explore the beauty of St. Peter's Basilica. There is so much to see in St. Peter's Basilica. We are now in front of the Pieta, a famous Renaissance sculpture made by Michelangelo Buonarroti late in the 15th century. This work of art was made in marble and depicts the body of Jesus on the lap of his mother Mary after the crucifixion. We are now in St. Sebastian Chapel inside St. Peter's Basilica. Here you can see the tomb of the beloved Pope St. John Paul II. This place is very popular among those who visit the basilica. We are here near this beautiful piece of art which is called St. Peter's Baldachin. It is a large baroque sculpted bronze canopy, located over the high altar of St. Peter's Basilica. The Baldachin is at the center of the crossing, and directly under the dome of the basilica. It was designed by Gian Lorenzo Bernini, and it was intended to mark, in a monumental way, the place of St. Peter's tomb underneath. Under its canopy is the high altar of the basilica. The Vatican Crypt is an underground complex in St. Peter's Basilica where many papal tombs are found. It is a very sacred place for Christians. Now let's go visit the tomb of St. Peter. St. Peter's tomb is found in the necropolis, a site under St. Peter's Basilica that includes several graves. According to Vatican authorities this structure have been built to memorialize the location of St. Peter's grave. Here we are on the roof of St. Peter's Basilica, 136 meters above street level. Visitors can climb up to the dome and walk around the roof to see this magnificent view of the city of Rome. From here you can see the beauty and grandeur of St. Peter's Square with its imposing colonnade. About 300,000 people can stay in the square designed by architect Gian Lorenzo Bernini. Now off to visit the Vatican Museum. We are now in the amazing Sistine Chapel. In this chapel new popes are appointed. The Sistine Chapel takes its name from Pope Sixtus IV, who had it built during the 15th century. One of the main attractions here is Michelangelo's epic ceiling frescoes representing scenes from the Book of Genesis. The creation of Adam by Michelangelo, in the Sistine Chapel. The Last Judgment paintings on the walls are also Michelangelo's work. There are also the beautiful tapestries, made by Raphael, showing the life of St. Peter. Out from the Sistine Chapel, we conclude our tour in St. Peter's Basilica and the Vatican Museums. There are so many other beautiful and interesting things to see here. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time in another beautiful place. Bye bye from Miss Julia and Toucan Calypso. The Vatican. Fact to remember. The Vatican is a small state within Rome. It is the smallest state in the world.
It is the home of the Pope. The Army of the Vatican is made up of Swiss Guards. St. Peter's Square can hold about 300,000 people. The imposing colonnade of the square was designed by Gian Lorenzo Bernini. St. Peter's Basilica was built during the Renaissance period. The basilica has one of the biggest domes of the world, designed by Michelangelo Buonarroti. Among the many attractions in the basilica you can see the Pieta, a sculpture by Michelangelo. The Sistine Chapel with its various pieces of art is the most visited area of the Vatican.